Welcome everyone to this session presented by Brett Moffat. And the title, as you can see there, is about amazing people in the classroom. And I'm really intrigued with this title because I've seen many of them in our conference this weekend. They're doing amazing things. So this one is about an action learning approach, which I'm really looking forward to. And so I'm going to let Brett introduce himself in a moment. Was he knows himself better than I do. <laughs> but it's been great to chat <laughs> uh, initially with you, Brett. And Thank you. I believe that your session will probably be shortish, maybe half an hour. Yeah. And so we'll, we'll have uh, plenty of time then to um, get refreshed, ready for the last two sessions. But we want to focus now on what you have to say. And one of the things that we have to say thanks to, of course, are our wonderful sponsors and supporters and our wonderful volunteers, e.g. Ness, and there she is. She just turns up right on time. Good entrance, Ness. <laughs> uh, Shambles is here with me, and thanks for your support all the way through. And we couldn't get by without the team from the Australia E-Series. They've just been awesome. And thank goodness we've had these Blackboard Collaborate rooms and certainly being in partnership with Steve Hargaden and his team in the Learning Revolution Project has helped us a long, long way. We have one sponsor this year from the Cyber Academy and we're very grateful to their support. We can have our usual map here and what we usually do is just pick up one of those little markers and Brett, um, if you yeah, I'll point to I'll one of them with your mouse, you can uh, place it on the screen. And I'll place one in Thailand for, where is Thailand? Um, what, what time zone? I don't know where Thailand is. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> and Ian cannot pick up either. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so most of us are uh, in the time zone of GMT plus 8 or plus 10 or 11. I'm not sure where all of those places are, in fact. <laughs> I know. Okay. Bad, Carol. <laughs> in the text chat, just give us the actual address of where you are. Thanks, Ian, for starting that off. That's really cool. So without further ado, we're going to move on to our presenter today who has already loaded his slides even before I came into the room. So he's already an amazing person. <laughs> and we're going to be engaged <laughs> with his presentation today. <laughs> so uh, take it away, Brett. Thank you very much, Carol. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it, it's great to be here. It's great to be here with you all. Um, it's it's, it's an intimate little group, so um, we should, it'd be nice to have a discussion, actually. but. Um, I, I do, I've got a few things um, I've, pr I've uh, prepared here to talk about with regards to the Amazing People Institute and what it does. Um, I, am, I am a director of, uh, of the Amazing People Institute and um, I've, uh, I've certainly uh, learned a lot and enjoyed the discussions um, over the last weekend and I'm sure you, you all have too. So I, I am looking forward to catching up on some of those sessions I've missed. Um, but I'll, I'll start off with uh, just going into a little bit about um, myself. Um, my background and expertise lies in uh, fine arts and arts education. So I've worked as an artist and designer and taught since the early 1990s when I was teaching makeup and running a makeup school in Brisbane while I was still at university, incidentally. <laughs> um, over the years, my art and teaching practice has included vocational education, secondary education, um, as well as administering and directing private and municipal art schools, as well as private art tuition. Uh, I have taught in studio arts practice, art history, and makeup. So today, I will be talking about the Amazing People Institute a little bit of background information as well as discussing the research we've conducted as part of our case studies, our resources, and of course where you can gain access to have a look at those resources. 
So I'll be covering all those uh, points this evening. The Amazing People Institute is what is part of what's called the Amazing People Club, which was uh, which was founded in 2006 by a psychologist and management leader, Dr. Charles Margerison. It holds held posts at the University of Cranfield in the UK and the University of Queensland in, uh, in management psychology. Previous to this, Dr Majerison had spent many years uh, holding both academic as well as advisory roles helping large companies such as Shell and IBM solve all sorts of problems and issues relating to organisation management and ensuring people are communicating effectively not to mention flourishing in their roles. As a consequence of his work and his private studies, uh, Dr Margerison had been studying the lives of what we call amazing people, who, as the title suggests, were very high achievers. People like Leonardo da Vinci, Shakespeare, Marie Curie, Harriet Tubman, Mozart, Michelangelo, Darwin, Einstein, and a whole host of others who have made great contributions. The Amazing People Institute provides for those who have an education role with research and resources. In particular, we enable education and training organisations uh, to use the Amazing People materials to assess applications. This enables people from all walks of life to understand and apply the principles of success used by Amazing People. So, Adopting a vast array of multimedia and educational resources such as ebooks, iBooks, articles, webinars, videos and case studies, the Amazing People Institute is at the forefront of action learning principles. Through an active network of global partners and workshops, it trains and facilitates teachers, librarians and other educational stakeholders to maximise the potential of success development. Action learning is the key principle to understanding how amazing people achieve great things. The Amazing People Institute shows you how to effectively apply and learn from master lessons of the masters. Our resources, workshops and global networks provide a comprehensive system of teaching and learning resources. Independent research demonstrates the effective use of time, organisation and talent management uh, are developmental and, and key qualities of amazing people. You can truly transform your potential and your life by accessing and adopting these principles. So if any of you visit any of the amazing people resources, you'll probably see a reference to what's called a bio view. Now, what is a bio view? A bio view is based on the academic research and consultancy and studying the lives of effective achievers that Dr Margerison conducted. He was able to adapt the lessons of achievement into the stories of amazing people. He called this new format the BioView. BioViews are a newly developed concept in storytelling that combines biography with virtual interview. The lives of amazing people can be explored through their achievements, challenges and experiences in a very personal way. The unique format and flow enables each person's story to come alive as if it is being personally told to you, reflecting their interests, emotions and passions. The BioViews format was first released as a book format in 2007 and quickly developed as a useful audio and audiovisual resource via the form of avatars which are animated characters that bring the amazing person's story to life. The Amazing People Club, producers of the Amazing People resources, have produced over 300 titles now that include characters from all walks of life, epoch, gender, context and culture. We don't develop resources based on amazing living people at this stage, but the importance of role models in and out of today's classrooms can't be underestimated. The resources, which include books, e-books, iBooks, audios, avatars and other audio visuals, have been developed for a number of flexible delivery options, including tablets, e-readers and web-based delivery. Delivery to your own system's intranet is also another option, 
So uh, basically, uh, the education provider or library is set up with an account that allows the content to be streamed via the intranet so that all students may log into their systems to access the resources. The Amazing People Network have a number of purposeful websites that aim to inspire and engage the users. These include the Amazing People World website. Um, it is available now for a free trial for a sample of the resources and this site introduces you to the world of Amazing People via, via various themes able to be incorporated into a wide range of curriculum subjects. The Amazing People Education Blog is a treasure trove of information and further insights into the lives of amazing people. And the Amazing People Library website. It is also available now for a free 60-day trial. The Amazing People Library website includes more than 200 inspirational first-person biographies across key subject categories including amazing explorers, musicians, scientists, artists, artists and entrepreneurs. Uh, it has built-in audio narration of the text which adds dynamic interest for the different levels of learners. Uh, you can also bookmark, annotate, print, email and share listings and it also has a sophisticated browse and search capability as well. So how can it assist in a student's learning? Biobeers featured in the series explore the lives of an extensive range of the world's most amazing people, from William Shakespeare to Disney to Reed, Einstein, Michelangelo to Florence Nightingale. Deep learning occurs when students are trying to make sense of material relating to previous knowledge, thinking critically, relating evidence to conclusions and examining the logic in arguments. Many of the techniques combine a bio view with exploring what the students may already know, putting them in a position of power. The techniques all require students to convert information from one mode to another, turning bio view text and audio visuals into physical and vocal representations, conversions that make the brain work harder. They all support cooperative group work, encouraging pupils to interpret, question, speculate and justify together. The Education Kit has been authored by Penny Alexander, a secondary school drama teacher and former head of media and film studies. She has trained teachers across all subjects in the use of active engagement strategies. So at this point I'd like to ask you um, if anyone has any other ideas for any other great five minute class starters or how you could engage a class using uh, these kinds of resources based on the ones you've seen. No. Sorry, Brett, could you just repeat no. your question for us? Sure, sure. I'd like to know, is there anyone who has any other ideas for great five minute class starters or how you can engage a class using this kind of a resource? I'm going to uh, talk about a few very shortly, um, some case studies. And, uh, and, and how other teachers were able to use the resource. And I'm just wondering if anyone else has had any uh, great success in, in uh, using um, resources in the same way. Okay, look, I'll just move right along because we will um, now tackle the case studies which will sort of illustrate a bit more That's what I'm talking okay, about. Brad. In some cases, they may not be able to use the microphone, so you okay. could just give them a few seconds to text it in, and I can see sure. a couple there coming through. Okay. Wiki spaces, yep. Yeah. yeah, one that comes to my okay. mind is um, the use of voice thread. Shambles has yeah. used a role play of famous scientist. Fantastic. All right, back to you. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And that's, and that's exactly the, the idea of role playing where they're sort of not necessarily trying to recall facts but they're actually putting themselves in the shoes of, of these people that they know about but they have to sort of think like them which kind of um, makes the learning a lot more real to them. So um, 
So over the last year or two, we've conducted a number of research case studies in schools in the United Kingdom, the United States and Australia. The feedback has been very good, where schools have adopted the resources for years four through to years 12, or the senior year. In Castle Vale School in Birmingham, the UK, the school adopted an Amazing People ethos, where students decorated the walls with posters of Amazing People affirmations and quotes. One teacher said, we picked amazing people who have had a lot of obstacles to success. They may have had a bad upbringing or a poor education, and we focus on the successes they have had and the achievements they have had despite the, their adversity. And we change them every two or three weeks so that students can see despite what your background is and the obstacles you have in life, it is possible to succeed. As one student said, uh, he wanted to achieve his goal when he was talking about uh, Christopher Columbus. So he did not want to listen to other people who said the world is flat, we're going to fall off the earth. So he ignored those people and got on with what he wanted to do. So this is what the uh, this is what the uh, user interface looks like from the Amazing People World site or Amazing People Education. Uh, as you can see on the left hand menu we've got Christopher Columbus and there's several uh, videos there um, which sort of recall episodes in his life. Um, unfortunately this is not a working example but um, basically the avatar speaks to you and um, as he's talking it is showing other visuals of, of maps and the ships and the sort of all of the, the adventures he had along the way. Um, included with that is a timeline, uh, his bio view story, uh, and then there's some question prompts as well. And that's just, uh, just another image of his uh, avatar video. At Tahoma School in Washington State, Ken, a teacher of senior science and oceanography, was hoping by using the Captain James Cook avatar that his students could really get inside this guy's shoes and walk a mile in Captain Cook's shoes, so to speak. Ken says, I had been searching for a method, a technique, a tool that engaged students. Could we help them to get a feel of what it must have been like to be sailing the seven seas as a crew member with one of the explorers of the high seas? Over the years I've tried a number of methods but never saw the results for which I had been hoping. This time it was different. The level of interest was higher than I had seen. The quality of the student talk and the follow-up discussion indicated an amazingly strong engagement. For example, after the entire class finished listening to the bio view of Captain Cook, a student asked for clarification. Was the endeavour really that small? So it was a nice fall afternoon. I suggest we all close our laptops and walk out to the tennis courts. With a trundle wheel, we measured the dimensions of the imaginary endeavour vessel. Then we took positions across the deck and in our mind's eye seeing the vast Pacific stretched out before us. I asked the students to imagine spending months at sea as Captain Cook and his crew did on their way to Tahiti. How did they feel as they searched day after day with no land in sight for the elusive Terra Australis? What was it like to be confined every waking moment to this confined space? As one young lady commented, without my iPhone I wouldn't have lasted a day. Um, so the students were uh, were very engaged with those uh, with those um, with that activity. Um, another student said it is better on the video in comparison, especially in the psychology, where it's almost unbearable to read it. With the videos you can automatically have both the cases and you can debate on it. Another thought, yeah, it was a lot better than reading from a book. I'm not a big fan of reading in a book. It doesn't help me comprehend it. But having a person actually tell you the story was really interesting. 
Another school where we conducted a case study was Springbrook State School in Australia. It's a small primary school. During their studies of Indigenous Australians, as well as early colonial history, they developed a class role play around the historical characters of Governor Arthur Phillip and famous convict Susanna Holmes. Having watched the Governor Philip avatar, students were asked to form small groups and develop questions for Governor Philip, who happened to be a teacher dressed up in a costume. The teachers had to consider the conditions of the long journey from Great Britain to Australia, their lodgings, food and other hardships the first colonial settlers and convicts would have experienced. Likewise, having watched the Avatar video on convict Susanna Holmes, the students formed pairs where one student played the role of a convict and the other as a soldier. The convict was very gratefully given the opportunity to dictate a letter to the soldier who wrote down the convict's thoughts and concerns. Having swapped roles, the students were given the opportunity to read their letters and discuss what it must have been like to be a convict. Principal Sarah said, I found that the students were really engaged throughout the session. It was great, there was a lot of variety in different activities that kept them very focused and engaged throughout. It was a very valuable session considering we had just focused on the Australian history and the first fleet. So it was a good summary of cap up and activities to do with our class. This resource fits really well with our pedagogy that our teaching and learning in the classroom needs to be relevant to the students. And the opportunity for the students to be able to ask questions and experience the snapshot in the life of Governor Phillip and the convicts and Indigenous people through the suite of resources that we used was fantastic. So overall the response has been uh, very positive to bringing amazing people into the classrooms all over the world. The resources have indeed been adapted to suit a wide variety of curriculums and cultural contexts, but we have been careful actually not to make them um, necessarily curriculum compliant from one country to the next, as these are sort of really meant to be used um, across the globe. Most recently, HarperCollins has released a licensed version of the Amazing People series via their ELT, or English Language Teaching Reader series. And these are some of the, uh, the positive outcomes reported by teachers. So that is just a brief overview of what the Amazing People Institute does, what our research does. Our Amazing People resources uh, reflect our research and uh, we continue to develop those, uh, those resources. Um, in the future, we're looking to uh, develop an interactive system and a workbook where students can um, basically diarise and reflect on, on their, their action learning processes as well. So that will be um, coming up in the future. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you all again for, um, for listening. Um, I'll just sort of recap on some of those websites. This is the Amazing People World website. It's a trial that's um, available now for you to use and use the resources. Um, there's a free educator's kit. You'll also find that on amazingpeopleclub.com uh, in the education tab. This is the Amazing People Education blog, which has a lot of uh, interesting uh, information. It, it tends to, re to relate to the calendar year, so when it's Abraham Lincoln's birthday or um, someone's birthday, uh, usually the blog post will sort of relate to that day. Um, so that's quite an interesting resource. And then another resource is called the Amazing People Library. And again, it's available for a 60-day uh, a free trial. Uh, so um, thanks again. And please don't hesitate to um, contact me or contact a representative of the Amazing People Club and Amazing People Institute via one of these channels. Uh, all of those resources are available uh, for purchase via iTunes and Amazon. However, like I mentioned, the education resources are actually available for an ongoing free trials for teachers to use and to um, become accustomed to. So. Um, 
thank you very much. And would anyone like to ask any questions or um, have further discussion? Thank you so much, Brett. That was amazing. Ha ha. I have a question for you. Do you sure. have a segment that is all about amazing educators? We do. We do have a, um, a book called Amazing Educators, which is also, I believe, an audio series called Amazing Educators. So we do have them in, in varying themes and we sort of, when we initially created them, we thought, okay, well, we've got some artists, we've got, we've got scientists, we've got all of these people who would normally sort of have in, in those, um, those orthodox genres, I guess you'd say, but then we realised that there was all kinds of genres that, um, that we could sort of split it up to. And um, um, so what we've done is we've actually, yeah, we've, we've created them on educators, um, doctors, um, amazing doctors uh, and nurses, um, explorers and innovators, um, yeah, all kinds of all kinds of different genres. Fantastic, uh, amazing writers. I imagine that you've got there. And Shambles is suggesting amazing students and parents. And he asked a question, but I think yeah. we've got the answer about how long the ongoing free trial. Sixty days is quite generous. Sixty days is for the the uh, amazing people library, um, and that is that particular site is is probably aimed at institutions and libra libraries. The Amazing People, uh, Amazing People World um, is, is an ongoing uh, free trial at this stage. That site is actually uh, due to be launched in the next few months as a much more comprehensive site with a, with a lot more resources on it. So for the time being, it's, it's uh, just, just there to make the, the best use of. And um, like I say, we're happy to sort of facilitate any inquiries um, as best we can. Thanks very much for that. Um, Chris had another question for you uh, about the cost for using the resources. And that's probably a tricky question because it might depend on certain things. But can you give us some ballpark figures? Um, look, I, I can't, I, I need to get back to you in terms of the Amazing People Library site. In terms of the uh, Amazing People World site, that is, that is actually free. That's free for schools to use. That's free for educators to use as well. So that's just, at the moment, that's an ongoing free trial. It's not as, um, I suppose it doesn't have as many resources as the Amazing People Library site. The Amazing People Library site uh, has over 200 resources. Uh, and they are um, audios, um, timelines and career notes. The Amazing People uh, World site, it also has the, the avatars, which, uh, which we find have been probably the most um, successful and the most popular resource, uh, being an audiovisual resource. So um, yeah, so that's, that's free at this stage and there's, there's quite a few there that you can use. Great. That's uh, a really good, rich resource, and I'm sure that um, we'll be passing some of that along, specifically the library. Um, did you want to leave us with your email address, or would you prefer? Oh, you've got it there. Amazing People Institute at Outlook.com, and if you could just type it into the text chat, people might like to copy it from there because they can't actually copy from the whiteboard. So I'll um, keep talking for a minute while you type that into place. And we'll just um, go back through the text and have a look at uh, some of the things that were coming up because um, Ian mentioned that he's already <laughs> gone over to have a look. So he's already off and <laughs> running. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to see if there's any other question. I don't see any specific questions. So if you have something that you want to say or ask, Pop it into the text chat now. Thanks for putting your email address in, Brett. That's wonderful. That's my pleasure. That's my pleasure. It's been uh, it's been a great opportunity. Like I say, it's just a brief survey. Um, but I think what I'm the reason why I'm actually a part of this is I'm very passionate about uh, what made amazing people so amazing. And uh, I guess what we've discovered is is um, there was a lot of trial and error, but there was also um, a lot of overcoming of obstacles. And um, it's, it's very inspiring. I think it's very inspiring for students 
um, to have to have these kinds of role models uh, and to have real life role models as well. So uh, so yeah, it's it's something I'm very passionate about. And it's a really innovative program. It's quite different. Um, Ness, I have to say thank you to uh, inviting Brett along tonight. And uh, we had thought that um, amazing people might like to be a sponsor, but maybe next year. Yeah. So, Ness, over to you for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I guess it's really Brett for contacting me. and. Um, thank you so much for doing that because I think there's some really great tools here that can be used really well within a classroom. So I look forward to trying out Amazing People World and seeing what it's like. Thank you for that, Ness. And, and um, look, I, I really appreciate the opportunity. It's been a fantastic forum over the last weekend to to hear um, everything that's going on and, and really for such what you would think is in some ways a, a narrow but it's actually huge uh, what's what's going on and probably what's going to happen over the next few years I think with um, with education so um, so I was really keen uh, not just to share the resources but um, also to uh, to get any feedback and actually um, and and find out what's what's going on in, in other parts of the, the world and the country in terms of uh, the developing um, yeah global revolution I guess you could say that's absolutely right, Brett. We are part of the learning revolution, <laughs> and uh, certainly um, all of us uh, are moving and pushing and coercing lots of people to step into the water out there. And things are changing. I think you're quite right that we're on the cusp of yet another momentous change, and it's nice to be at the forefront. So thank you so much for presenting today and um, we really appreciate your sharing and no, we'll just see if there's any last comments before I close the recording. Well thank you very much for everyone. Um, it's, it's been really good and I'm glad it's, uh, it's I'm, I'm very happy that it's actually an intimate group. I would have been happy with the big group too but it's been great to see you all here um, this evening. To, uh, to join to join us. Thank you, Brett. You did extremely well, and, and thanks so much for being a real trooper. We, of course, um, want to thank all of our participants tonight, and remember that you can grab a badge, and we'd really like you to be reflecting on all of these. And yeah, the recording of this session will be up next week, and it will also be converted into an MP4 format, thanks to Shambles, <laughs> and uh, he will um, be able to put those into our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, I was saying that he is a trooper because uh, Brett had already organised himself in the room, uploaded his slides even before I got here. So to me, that's worth um, a gold star for you. <laughs> I did a bit of, I, I, there was a bit of trepidation there. I got here very, very early. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that was great. Yeah, it's on technology, but I thought I'm going to get there really early. So, you know, thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, thanks everybody. We've now got a little bit of a break time before the next sessions at the top of the next hour. And of course, Chris will be featuring there. So I'm going to rush over to the room now and uh, load up those slides. So I'm going to turn off the recording and say thanks for coming. <laughs>